2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a look at the Warriors, arriving earlier on, looking sharp and determined. This Golden State team ready to get after it. The bustling city of Portland, Oregon. This is the backdrop for our broadcast setting tonight. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Portland Trailblazers here at Moda Center. With Brent Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Curry and Poole have the guard spots. Wiggins is out there with Clay Thompson, and it's Green in at the five down low. And for the Trailblazers, we've got Josh Hart. Nurkic is out there with Damian Lillard. And it's Simons in at the two spot. And tonight's game, like so many, could come down to the three-point shooting for each team. Greg, there are debates as to whether that style alone can win you a championship in the NBA. Well, Kevin, there's never a substitute for balance. And coaches and players are too smart. You have to keep your opponents guessing. But leave no doubt, the three-pointer is here to stay. Well, the confidence that Steph has on the inside, once he beats his primary defender, he can finish over the top of the bigger defender. Hits it from three-point range. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. All that work that Steph does before the game, getting pushed around on shot attempts, paying off there as he gets knocked off balance and still scores. Passes it to Green. Finished off the break. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Lillard with the bucket. The ability to stop there and pull up from any distance. That's why Lillard's defenders have sleepless nights. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrin. Well, I did get a chance to speak with Steve Kerr a little bit. Coach is well aware how dangerous Lillard can be closing out tight games. He told me we need to win this game in the first three quarters. If it's close at the end and Dame knows it, he can turn it up to a level that we can't deal with. So let's see if they can get off to that quick start. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Well, gravity is very, very real, and Steph Curry has the most of any NBA player right now. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Well, Portland, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. For the three, Portland keeps it going. A new 14 second shot clock. Let's the three fly. And Curry pulls it down. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. And that one's good. Wiggins. Brent, when you talk about the gravity of Curry, explain what you mean. Well, Kevin, anytime that he's on the floor, when he crosses half court, all five defenders are paying attention to where Steph is. The more he moves, the more he shifts around the incredible attention of all five defenders. And when guys make one misstep or you have two defenders make one misstep to carry their way to where Steph Curry is, it opens up easier opportunities on any possession. That's what we're talking about when we speak on Steph's gravity. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Lillard outside. Fires the three. Trailblazers keep it alive. Simons the pass to Lillard. Drains it from beyond the arc. Lillard's got nine. Now defensively, you like to try and run Lillard off of that spot because, man, he gets it going out there. He's going to hurt you. Curry passes to Wiggins. 
Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. That's tipped. And they're on the break. Here's Poole. Damian Lillard pulls it in. Trailblazers trail by five. From deep three-point range, Warriors with the rebound. And you know what? He's just not on his game, no doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Now that's just called working within the offense as Thompson, unwilling to settle for a shot, has good vision and then sees the open man. Now here's Lillard. He's got nine. Good on the three-point shot. 12 points for him. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Here's Curry with the three. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. Three-pointer Lillard. A three-pointer is right on target. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. And the basket by Curry. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And Lillard gets it to go. And the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Curry kicks to Green. Wiggins surveying the floor. Pass to Curry. Let it go with a three. And the rebound by Nurkic. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Lillard against Green. Let's it go from deep. And Damian Lillard, another three. Lillard's got 21 in the game. 12 straight points off of three-pointers. And the D shills her. Here's Curry with the three. Curry with another miss. And I like the ball move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Back to Lillard. Some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Hart the pass to Nurkic. Here's Watford. The dish to Lillard. Hart with it. He's covered by Thompson. Kicks to Lillard. Four on the shot clock. A miss that time. Would have put him up. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Well, I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that, uh, that's unfortunate. From deep, from beyond the arc, and then some. 24 points for him. Miller just plays with great confidence, really feeling it here and looking to find any scoring opportunity in this one. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Portland. He has really delivered at the offensive end. He's torched them for 24 points so far. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Now with the talent around him, Damian Lillard able to play off the ball. He explained how that helps him get open. Getting the ball later in possessions when the defense isn't so sharp. You know, usually at the beginning of a defensive possession is get over the first screen. You know, they the energy is up, um, they're interested, and usually at about 12 seconds they're a little tired. Um, the interest goes down. Damian Lillard, Greg, accustomed to making shots with the clock winding down. They have a phrase for it. Whether the defense is locked in or not, that clock is ticking down to dame time. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. What stands out to you guys from the Trailblazers so far in this one? Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. We've got Damian Lillard. Nurkic is out there with Little. And it's Simons in at the two. They're the group the Portland Trailblazers will start the second quarter with. Thompson dishes to Iguodala. Outside Curry. 
Rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Well, Draymond Green holding everybody accountable. We've seen this before. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Curry gets the bucket. And so often, Draymond Green is called the heart of this team. Well, he's been such a great leader since his time at Michigan State. He's out there barking directions to his offensive players. He's out there barking defensive assignments. He's barking at his coach. I, it just The list goes on, but that energy is infectious and helps lead his team to greater heights. Lillard from outside. That one's not going to go. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Green finds Igudala. Thompson outside. The pass to Green. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, I think in his mind he knew the contact was coming. Focused. Stayed in control. And got it. The Warriors shooting their first free throw of the contest. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board. 77% collectively. The Trailblazers making a switch here. McLemore is checked in. And so many teams looking to space the floor. Greg, how many non-shooters can you play and, and still have a good offense? Well, I, I think most teams go four out, meaning you got to have at least four guys that are a threat on the perimeter, keeping a vertical spacer at that dunker spot. But if your dunker can also shoot, man, that puts even more pressure on the defense. Higgins up top. Eight points for him. Back to Curry. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And Simons, he's got the ball here for the Trailblazers. Dishes it to McLemore. From deep three-point range. Here's Nurkic, and the layup is good. And the Trailblazers lead by two. And Nurkic did a great job just keeping the motor running. Curry on the wing. Iguodala outside. Outside Curry. Sweet little floater. Curry's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. Now that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Damian Lillard is checked in for Inferni Simon. Trailblazers have gone 3-7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Three-pointer, Lillard drills it from outside. Lillard's got nine points in the quarter. And wasn't sure he could keep up the pace he set from three-point range in that first, but boy, has he ever. Yeah, that's just working for the better shot. We always talk about in the NBA, good to great, great possession there. Now a timeout called by Portland. And Wiggins thrive as a secondary option. Seems that is the role he's best fit for. Uh, his efficiency soared. Lillard outside. Nurkic trying to get open. And the Trailblazers another three. Out of their last hot makes. How about all five from long range? And with Wiggins, he didn't face the same pressure, Greg. It was a huge weight off his shoulders. And that mental aspect impacts players. Wiggins was asked to do less and as a result, ended up doing more. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down to just two points on the bucket from Thompson. Here's Lillard. He's got 36. This one for three. Pass to McLemore. Here's Lillard, guarded by Kirk. And Damian Lillard with the bucket on the assist from McLemore. Lillard's got 39. Warriors trail by five. Curry deciding where to go with it. 136 left in the first half, and the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. 
That is his first foul of the game. And the Warriors making a change here. Porter's checked in, and the shot is good. And that's 11 points for Draymond Green. A tough, tough shot from Draymond Green, but he brings this out of his squad and frustrates the opponent. And the three ball is good. 42 points for Lillard. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Here's Thompson. Green breaking loose, and it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Clay Thompson. Lillard against Kerr. Lillard outside. Offline with his three. The Warriors have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing here. Here's Curry. The teardrop falls in. Now just a two-point trailblazer lead. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Curry against Lillard. From the arc. Connects again from distance. He's really sniping him from outside. Locked in, feeling confident in that three-point shot. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. On its way from Curry for two. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Curry's got 19 points. I feel like when he gets going like this, it's a night where Steph might take a few more chances offensively. That spells trouble for the defense. And Lillard gets it to go. Bottom line, you need shooters on your team who can space the floor. No, there's no doubt. He's a legitimate threat from downtown, and he's demonstrating that in this game. And so it's Portland with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thank you. With Draymond Green, Draymond rebounding a bit of a struggle. How do you improve that? Picture man, you know, get five guys to the boards. Guards get in there and clean up those boards that's loose, but you know, our big guys got to hold our mans off, and we've been doing that this half. We'll see if all five can get you more boards in that second half, Dre. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Damian Lillard has been having a big night. He had a scoring performance for the ages, putting up an enormous amount of points and one rebound. And he wasn't himself in that last contest, but tonight, he's really turned it around. What did you think about Portland, Kenny? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. And Shaq, what do you have to say about the Warriors? Their unselfishness has kept them in the game. Just look at the assist numbers. The guys are making cuts. They move with the ball freely. You look to see the offense function like a weld oil machine, sort of like myself. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Really an incredible game from Lillard. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Six-point lead. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Curry and Poole have the guard spots. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Green, and it's Thompson in at the three spot. And Brent, you look at the career of Clay Thompson, he's had improvements every step of the way. Yeah, he's still just an elite shooter that the 
because of what Steph does, because of Draymond's unselfishness, Clay is going to add 25 points in the blink of an eye. Uh, that, along with his defense, just make that backcourt something special. Lillard against Curry. Lillard outside. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. I mean, he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Right side crew. Back to pool. Another shot. And he sinks the layup. Poole's got his first points in this one. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Wasted no time on that one. Lillard's got the lead up to 11 now for Portland. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. From downtown, and it's Stephen Curry with a three. Curry's got 24. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. Lillard outside. He got it again. Sensational. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. Green kicks to Wiggins. He feeds it to Curry. That falls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got five assists in the game. Lillard from outside. The Warriors pull it in. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. And here's Poole for three. And another three for Golden State. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Lillard from outside sinks the triple. Lillard's got 15 points in just the second half. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. You have to like what we've seen so far from Damian Lillard. And he is absolutely dialed in from outside. They need to close out on him much quicker when he's lining up those threes. For the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Green. Bialica comes in for Andrew Wiggins. Kumingas come in for Clay Thompson. And Gary Payton has subbed in for Stephen Curry. Pass to Bialica. And the dunk by Bialica. Bialica's game might be mostly finesse, but there are times when he gets aggressive. Lillard from deep three point land misses the three. Warriors trail by seven. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Cool. Misses off the right iron. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. Lillard outside. Jacks up a three. And it's Looney with the rebound. The Warriors have gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter. Now, here's Poole. Defense right on him. No good on the three. Portland leading by seven. Ellaby, the pass to Lillard. 
takes the three. Bangs home the trifecta. Lillard's got 18 points just in the second half. I mean, this guy is unreal. What a show. Well, we talk about the clutch scoring of Damian Lillard. I'll put it in black and white. Since he entered the league in 2012, nobody has more makes in the last 20 seconds of a game to tie or go ahead. Nobody. We've got 123 left in the third. Clark kicks to Lillard. Six on the shot clock. And again for three. He has been on the money from deep. Yep, definitely looking to shoot it as much as possible. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And the list of players with multiple series clinching buzzer beaters in the playoffs. Michael Jordan and Damian Lillard. And with a little Bon Voyage wave of the hand for good measure, Dame time is as real as it gets. It's by Alitza. Heady play by Bielitsa. The Warriors have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. A free throw good from Bielitsa. Winslow's checked in for the Trailblazers. And the Warriors also making a change. Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Kaminga. And Bielitsa is a terrific shooter. A big man, Brent, with real range, capable of really stretching the floor. Yeah, and I hate to just talk about Bielitsa as a pure shooter, and it's the only thing he does. There have been moments where he can make a play with the ball and, and make some good reads, but it is the shooting strength and the ability to draw out bigger players that really provide the juice from Bielitsa. Uh, Looney can knock those down. It helps out the entire offense. It's going to start to space the floor. Simons from outside sinks the three-pointer. Simons has got his first three points of the game. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And so it's the Portland Trailblazers up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. And we'll be right back after this. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. They've got Hart, and it's Simons in at the point. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Here's Poole. And he lays it straight in. Poole's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Warriors. From deep. And it's Simons. missing. Warriors trail by 10. Iguodala deciding where to go with it. Here's Porter. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Justice Winslow. And it's important that Porter stays aggressive. But when he does this, it helps force the D's hand. Wow, what, he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. Lillard's checked in for Anferni Simons. Golden State also making some changes. Green, he's checked in for Looney. Thompson comes in for Peyton. And Stephen Curry is subbed in for Jordan Poole. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Justice Winslow. Yeah, we know he's undersized for the position, but Draymond Green 
does the work of several men, including how he forces the D that time to foul. He doesn't get the second one. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Three-pointer, Lillard. Again, what an avalanche! What a game. That's 72 points. He's been simply, Greg, sensational throughout this one. Curry dishes to Green. It's deflected. And the six foot seven, 225 pound Winslow rises up and swats that shot away with great athleticism. Lillard from outside. Porter pulls it in. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Golden State. Thompson for the triple. And Damian Lillard pulls it down. Trailblazers leading by 10. Pass to Hart. Lillard from outside gets the three-pointer to fall. Lillard's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for Portland. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Curry outside. Not going to go that time. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. And it's good off the back rim and in. Lillard's got eight points here in this quarter. So good at rising, firing, and dismantling defenses. And there's the pass to Thompson. Here's Curry with the three. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. So both teams making some changes here. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, I had a chance to find out what the Trailblazers coach was going over with his guys. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening, guys. Okay, David, thanks. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. Trailblazers leading by 15. Three-pointer, Lillard. Warriors with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds now tonight. Curry with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. Curry passes to Iguodala. And here is Green. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. They are just killing them on the interior. Lillard fires away from way outside. And it's Iguodala with the rebound. Warriors trail by 13. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. And another three for Golden State. Good anticipation there from Iguodala, who is a very good passer. Lillard from outside gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Trailblazers lead by 13. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitor. They're both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Portland's gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. Golden State's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Thompson against Nurkic. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. And we know Clay Thompson is a top-tier shooter. He's got incredible form, a great release, but he's also unselfish by example and plays well within this system. Simons, he's checked in for Portland. Pools checked in for Golden State. Lillard from outside. Another one goes. Incredible. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Curry wide open. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Curry's got 34 points. Lillard from outside. And another one falls. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense he just can't miss. Lillard against Curry. Shoots. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. 
Curry's got 17 points here in the second half. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for the Trailblazers. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but you know, they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the story. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And what a huge standout performance it was for Lillard. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastated. And another three for Portland. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Right block shot, and he comes up with the deuce. I, I don't know what you do there on the pick and roll. You're so worried about Steph, he ends up moving the ball to get points. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Lillard misses. Thompson outside. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Lillard fires away from way outside. Can't connect from long distance. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much. Here with Damian Lillard. Dame, when do you know you have a rhythm in a game like tonight? When I was doing my pregame routine, I felt pretty good. You know, the ball was coming off my hands good. I felt calm. I felt really good coming into the night to start the game. I was patient. Um, we had a good pace. I let it come to me. I got a few clean looks, and, you know, I had some high-quality makes. And, you know, after that, I was like, this got potential to be a good night, and that's what it turned into. It certainly was a very good night for you, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA presented.